Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bilfat. A telephone call was held between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Prime Minister of Israel, Naftali Bennett. During the call, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended his best wishes on the occasion of Passover. Areas of cooperation between Bahrain and Israel were also discussed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister of Israel reviewed regional and international developments of common interest and the importance of strengthening efforts to support regional safety and stability. In this regard, His Royal Highness and Bennett both called for the de-escalation of tensions in Jerusalem and stressed the need for respect and tolerance for all religions. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict Number 25 of 2022, appointing the following directors at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications. Abdullah Hassan Ishaq Al Qadi is appointed as Director of the Air Traffic Directorate, and Rauf Abdul Aziz Abdul Karim Al Alawi is appointed as Director of the Air Licensing Directorate. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with several heads of Ramadan majlises at Rafa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted that the Kingdom's citizens have proven their determination to overcome any challenges to reach the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted that Bahraini citizens are the nation's true source of wealth and remain at the centre of all investment initiatives as they are considered the Kingdom's main pillar of development. His Royal Highness affirmed that the kingdom will continue to achieve its development goals through the collective determination of its people who always put the interests of their country first. He noted that with the solidarity and teamwork of Bahrain citizens and residents, Bahrain will continue to overcome challenges and achieve successes which will reflect on the growth and prosperity of the kingdom to benefit all. His Royal Highness affirmed the kingdom's commitment to enhancing development opportunities through strategies and plans that are currently being implemented. He noted that despite various international events, whether related to the global COVID-19 pandemic or the supply chain challenges facing international markets, the kingdom is on a path of economic recovery thanks to the resilience and commitment shown by the members of Team Bahrain to achieve the goals set out in the economic recovery plan. For their part, the heads of the kingdom's Ramallah Majlises expressed their gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his continued commitment to engage with citizens during the holy month of Ramadan. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, received the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali al Saleh, where they discussed organizational perceptions and work mechanisms related to Bahrain's hosting of the 149th IPU Assembly, scheduled to be held in March 2023. The Speaker and Shura Council Chairman affirmed that Bahrain proves its position as an important center for hosting regional and global events and conferences, noting that this is consistent with the comprehensive progress witnessed by the state of institutions and law under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. They noted that attracting the largest global parliamentary assembly expresses confidence in national competences in organizing international events and highlights the impact of the unified vision within the joint national framework. They also stressed the importance of supporting and strengthening cooperation, effective coordination and continuous consultation between the two authorities to raise and discuss the nation's issues with the government and achieve the hopes and aspirations of the citizens. The Speaker and Shura Council Chairman discussed the necessity for cooperation, coordination and harnessing the efforts of the two councils to increase communication with the parliaments of broadly and friendly countries. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, and the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments co-organized the 26th edition of the Bahrain Quran Grand Prize remotely in the presence of the SCIA President, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, SCIA members, heads of the Sunni and Jafari councils, officials, and hundreds of participants from Quranic centers. The SCIA 
Friday, President addressed the ceremony, extending congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the people of Bahrain and the Islamic nation on the holy month of Ramadan, the last 10 days of the holy month and Laylat al-Qadr. He extended thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for patronizing the contest, which reflects the royal care for the Holy Quran, as well as activities, events, programs and competitions related to it. He commended the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for its care which bolstered the role of the SCIA in serving the Holy Quran and supporting centers. He congratulated the winners in the ceremony during which the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, the jury and organizing committee were honored. The Minister of Information Ali Ramehi patronized the ceremony to present the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit to Information Ministry personnel and media professionals in implementation of the Royal Order and within the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to all concerned parties to present the medal to frontliners. The Minister stressed that the pride of His Majesty the King in the efforts exerted by frontliners as well as the tremendous support of His Royal Highness is a catalyst for exerting greater efforts in the service of the nation. Aramehi said that the achievements accomplished by frontliners, including competencies from the health sector, the PDF, the Interior Ministry and all allied parties, simulate further successes that would enhance the kingdom's progress and consolidate Bahrain's regional and international status. He congratulated the honorees and thanked them for their endeavors and contributions within the Team Bahrain efforts to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. The ministry personnel said they were honored to to receive the medal and stressed it would be a great incentive to continue working in the service of the nation. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad affirmed that the Ministry will provide pioneering initiatives for Bahraini youth in implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King to launch the Year of Bahraini Youth for the year 2022. The Minister stressed that His Majesty the King always prioritizes Bahraini youth and directs to invest in them and work to secure all the requirements for their progress. al muayyad affirmed the endeavor to follow His Majesty's approach in supporting Bahraini youth and developing their capabilities. He added that the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs has set two pillars for building nations, namely faith in the present and the need to work for the development of the kingdom. He indicated that based on these two pillars, the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs has developed a plan for a variety of programs and a package of initiatives and projects in the year of Bahraini Youth. The Ambassador of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman bin Ali Al Khalifa, attended the constitutional oath ceremony of the chairman and members of the Yemeni Presidential Leadership Council before the parliament in the temporary Yemeni capital, Aden, with the participation of senior officials and the presence of ambassadors of a number of Gulf, Arab, and European countries, and the special envoy of the Secretary General for Yemen, Hans Granberg, U.S. Special Envoy for Yemen, Tim Lender King, and representatives of Yemeni political forces and Parties, Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman affirmed Bahrain's keenness under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the security and stability of Yemen and its support for the Presidential Leadership Council in achieving the aspirations of the Yemeni people for security and prosperity. Following the ceremony, the ambassador conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and his congratulations to the chairman of the Yemeni Presidential Leadership Council, Dr. Rashid Mohammed Al Alimi, for taking the constitutional oath before Parliament and assuming the duties of his new position and His Majesty's wishes of success to the President of the Council and its membership and of continued security, stability and progress to the Yemeni people. Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman affirmed Bahrain's full support for the Presidential Leadership Council in carrying out its duties in managing state affairs, completing the transitional phase and delegating it to the full powers of the President of the Republic within the framework of its keenness to strengthen historical broadly relations between the two countries. For his part, the Yemeni chairman of the Presidential Leadership Council tasked the ambassador to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and his deep appreciation for the kingdom's stances under His Majesty's leadership and his government in support of the Yemeni people and its full keenness to Yemen's security and stability, wishing Bahrain and its people for their prosperity and progress.